hello everyone how are you how are you doing i hope you are doing great so today i'm going to show you as you have watched on the title uh, how i used this nvidia uh, n740 a 2 gigabyte graphics card with a pci socket on my hp 600 uh, tower pc which uh, it doesn't come with uh, six pin socket so directly uh, i have tried connecting this to the pci slot and it it, it starts with the fan starts but uh, it doesn't power up the graphics card so the solution i came up with is uh, i used the sata power which came with 12 volt this cable as you all know this one directly connects to the board uh, it's a six pin power and it's this one just gave power to the sata device like the hard disk and the disk drive so i'm gonna use that power to power up my uh, graphics card so what basically we need to do was uh, connect a six pin uh, PCI power to this one okay so our power supply my power supply only came with uh, normal SATA power board power and a power for the CPU okay so the option is in change the power supply or change my board so instead of that i i got this old power supply so from this i cut out a uh, four pin uh, molex okay and we just need the wires okay these four wires red black and yellow so what we are going to do is we just we are going to store power from the sata power to the graphics card okay you see this one it is a female uh, I, I mean yeah it's a female uh, molex which i directly connect to the sata okay what i did is just to make it clear for you here is a sata power so i put red one here yellow and black okay we just connect this one like like this let me zoom it for you like this okay okay so then i will connect this cable this molex cable directly here and this one can now connect to the graphics card okay can now connect to the graphics card okay so what we did is we connect this uh, female molex cable which is this one to the sata uh, six pin power then give it to the uh, my, uh, the graphics card okay so just to check we have the enough voltage to power up the graphics card as you know uh, motherboard this PCI Express only gives 75 watts of power okay and this graphics card needs at least 150 okay so what it uses is from the motherboard it takes 75 watts and direct power uh, 6 pin from the power supply okay so in this way it could power up so uh, let's connect this one directly to the board okay it's connected to the board so this one just connects to our hard disk so it powers up our hard disks and 
uh, the molex three pin we prepare for the graphics card okay so just to check out we have enough uh, power uh, we can use a voltmeter to check so i have powered up my computer let me just start it and check we if you have a uh, 12 volt okay so here is the cable we prepare uh, three pin uh, molex directly from the sata okay the black is the ground one so we put that on the middle and we check okay so as you can see i have 12 volts so that's what we need for the graphics card okay so let's let's shut down the computer okay and let's connect the graphics card okay i have connected my graphics card but just to show you for you i haven't connected the 12 volt to the graphics card okay let's just start it okay so if you can see the fan is starting okay it, it looks like the graphics card might work i will show you it will not display on the device manager so i'm on the pc now and uh, as i have showed you earlier i have powered the card only with the pci slot power and i want to show you that it won't be recognized at device manager which probably most of you have encountered before watching this video and um, i think that as i did the issue is on the pc or on the card so uh, just to show you as uh, in the display adapters i only have my intel graphics card which came with the computer so this means that there is no enough power to power the graphics card so uh, next i will show you uh, after we connect the graphics card with external power uh, we will come here so as we have seen it's not working so let's unplug on our power okay we have this four pin molex to six pins uh, PCIe uh, power converter we connect that directly to the graphics card and we put this one to the SATA power we just prepared okay okay now it have 12 volt power and also have the motherboard power okay so let's check if it works we are back after giving it 150 watts uh, half straight from the pci slot and half from the sata power using the six pin socket and let's check if it pops up in the device manager yeah okay here you go uh so you can clearly see that the nvidia card is uh working very well and uh, just to show you that uh, on the control panel which i installed earlier with the driver yes it's working uh, and my display is connected to the car now and so as you have seen uh, we have managed to make our card work without needing to buy another power supply or change our PC or even uh, having to use another lower power consuming card so this is a video for today uh, I hope it will help you out and make sure to subscribe and like or give comment if you have anything to ask and see you next time bye